So I know it's fall. See stuff like this. Hot water heater on the other side of that class A. I see these are a couple big ones here. This one right here. Those ones are cool too, but this one. Ah, those are pretty. Hmm. Where to start? Good morning. I'd like to say, well, I'd like to say thank you to all of my new friends. Possibly people that I'll never see again. Anybody that, uh... Ooh, there's the garden. There's the community garden. Anyone that was kind to me and appreciated me and helped me and allowed me to help them. Um, I feel good. I feel different. I feel, I feel upgraded, and I appreciate all that. People, many, many people ask me why I always say sorry over the last couple of days. Um, mostly women, females. Why are you apologizing and don't apologize? I don't recall. I'm sure other, I'm sure men did too. During my stay at the creek, my immensely beautiful, heartfelt, purpose-driven excitement hosted within something bigger than myself that I was able to take part of and enjoy and love and cradle. I was trying to help my abilities. I'm limited. I was unloading trucks, unloading water from trucks. I was picking up anything. I was picking up garbage on the ground. L little specks of garbage. Anything I saw anywhere. And I was also running around doing anything anybody asked me, I would do. Any, not just people that are in charge, but any small person that said, hey, can you carry this bag? They didn't need, you know, I was going up to people and saying, hey, can I carry your bag? Because I knew they wouldn't. And like, you know, some people would try to try to work you like a boss, and I, I have I already had a task list, a huge task list. It wasn't just like the main things that the people were saying to do. Everybody needed a little bit of something, and I was happy to uh, to load up Scout with those chocolates. He hates when I call him that. I apologize. Um, what did I give away? The things I didn't want to start with toilet paper, but. Chocolates. I was walking around giving out peaches, um, and I would actually, I would, I'd, I would see somebody new at their vehicle, and I'd, I'd, I'd have to, I'd offer them, and then I'd have to run all the way back. I was parked so far at the back, and I'd have to run back and grab more peaches because I had somebody else in mind that I wanted to give peaches to. And then, and then even toilet paper. I was stocking people up with a roll in a Ziploc, and not to mention band aids. So, these. As the bigger tasks came from the people that were more in charge, um, I, I was trying to do all these little tasks for people also. And I get a smile in the morning or a comforting piece of chocolate, whatever it may be, I feel like that's what, what I want, that, that is what I wanted to focus on. 
And so as big tasks came in, I was running between all these things like that I had to do. Like I'd see, I'd be like, oh, this person. Every single person I passed, I remembered that I wanted to spread joy to and like offer some piece of something. So I'm running around busily, more things being added on. I'm even picking garbage up and then I gotta put it away. Sometimes I gotta wash my hands, other times I'm doing dishes, other times I'm bringing food to people. Um, offering, if do you need, let me carry, let's organize. Just And each person I have a, an individual relationship with separately. Look at this. So catering to that relationship is different for each person. And it was very public. You know, everybody's standing around each other. So like, this is my good friend here, doing this with this person. And you know, I wouldn't refrain from hugging somebody there or, you know, giving a bump or, you know, or even pushing somebody and like, they're my friend and they, you know, they know that I'm not pushing them. Like, you know, I'd be walking and boom, I'd see garbage and my, my task would instantly change. I would pick that, I'd pick up garbage first, you know, just cause like it needs to be cleaned. Um, I was pulled aside and asked to leave. Um, a gentleman, a much taller gentleman than myself. told me that if we were outside of these gates, that he would kill me. He said that I was sexually harassing women. And he also said that nobody was my friend there. And, and banished me from the lands. So this is my second morning since then. The previous one was good, but I cried a lot all night. All, and then this one's even better. Here we are in Victoria. I feel good. I feel like I don't, there's so many. I am upgraded. Thank you to anybody that interacted with me well. And I'm, I really hope I helped you too. So, when I'm asked, why do you say sorry so much? And don't say sorry. That was just one little piece of the kind of flack I get no matter where I go. They saw my joy my love, my care, and they twisted it into sexual harassment, said they would kill me, and fucking kick me out hard. And I, I was forced to leave quietly this love that I thought I was a part of. Um, please, no negative comments, I'm not for that. But I just wanted to express, and I'm not even allowed to express this, right? Like, it's not my right to say that someone was so bad to me. That's crazy. That's part of the problem. That's not care. That's not love. I mean, protection is good. Thank you for protecting people. You know, talking about traumas and how I don't consider them. Well, what about, can I not be traumatized from you? But, yeah, I just wanted to put it out there. I love you all. All my new camp friends I really I really have been moved and I'm energized and I'm ready to help others and I doubt I'll be back but uh, you've all spilled into me like if, if I have if I am a cup of coffee like the, the maple syrup the cinnamon the dash of honey um, the the piece of dill I don't know the, the di every single beautiful interaction that I had was different and uh, has formed my cup of coffee into this beautiful taste and ability to satisfy. And that's because of you. And I love you. I love you.